welcome to another holiday episode. In today's episode, we are going to be making, with the supplies behind me here, some fun Christmas treats. And these are supplies that Sprinkles, our elf on the shelf, brought for us the other day. So anyway, guys, let's get started and I'll show you what we're going to make. Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to be making today, just so you can see what it is. Mom, can you do a close-up? Of course I can do a close-up. So basically, all of those supplies that we just showed you is what was used to create this. So we've got our pretzels, we've got our M&Ms at the bottom, and then we have these cute little Santa hats. Oh yes. So anyway guys, let's get started with the tutorial. So first things first, Mom and I are going to go over with you to show you the different supplies that Sprinkles brought for us. And I know for a fact that a lot of this stuff you could probably find at your local grocery store. So anyway, Mom, can you hold the things up for me? Yep, I sure can. All right, everyone, so Lammy and I just showed you what we're going to be making, and it's so cute and it's so easy to do. So here are the supplies you are going to need. Now, keep in mind that if there's certain items in here that you don't like the taste of, that's okay. You can just switch it out for something else or don't use it. First up, we've got pretzels that Sprinkles brought for us. We also have this little... Um, mix here. It's kind of like a trail mix kind of thing. So inside here is M&M's, semi-sweet chocolate chips, peanut butter flavored chips, and dried coconut. So that'll sweeten this up a lot. And then over here we've got our bugles right here and that's what we're going to be making the Santa hats with. We are also going to be making the Santa hats with these candy melts and it is like, it's, it's basically like chocolate. These are vanilla flavored, but it's kind of like chocolate and you melt it and then that's what we're going to dip the bugles in. And then we've got some sprinkles and things that we have here um, so we can decorate them. And the marshmallows in the back there, those are going to be for the little white pom-pom on the end of the Santa hat. So let's get started and we'll show you how to do this. Okay, so first things up, you're going to get yourself a nice large bowl of any kind that you'd like. This would be great for a party or to snack on on Christmas Day. So we are going to open up the bag. So we're going to open up the bag of pretzels and pour some in. Now you can do as little or as much as you want of this. It depends on how many people are going to be eating it. So these are good. So next up, we're going to be putting in some of our trail mix stuff to make it sweet. And this would also be good to put in cookies or brownies if you have any left over. So we're just going to be taking the candy there and pouring some of it in here like that. Adds a lot of color. Another cool thing that you could do is add red and green M&Ms so that way it keeps the Christmas theme. But by the time we're done, it's going to look very Christmassy indeed. So that's just this. You can just give it a little shake to mix it all up or use a spoon. And now we're going to get to the fun part. All right, guys, so this is definitely going to be the most fun part, but it also takes a little bit of work. So for this part, we're going to be making the Santa hats. So you're going to need your bugles, the red candy melts, which any of this you can get at a grocery store. I think that craft stores like Michael's would also have the candy melts, the sprinkles, and the marshmallows. So let's go to the kitchen and get started. Okay, so now we're at the stove because we need to melt these little discs and red is the best one to have for red Santa hats but they do come in other colors if you were interested in that and we are going to start melting these little discs now you can also do this in the microwave but we prefer to use a double boiler and to do it here at the stove now remember get your parents help if we're going to be using anything in the kitchen okay so now we are going to be pouring in the little discs into here and you're going to want to do quite a few of them because you're going to be dipping the bugles into here to create the Santa hats. So we'll be back in a little bit once this starts to melt. So while the little red discs are melting we've put some of the other supplies here on a plate so we have our bugles for the Santa hats, the mini marshmallows for the top of the Santa hats and then this is going to go around the edge and I'll show you how that works in just a second. So we're gonna wait for this to melt and then we'll start dipping them. So it has melted so now I'm going to take one of my bugles we're gonna kind of put it on the fork a little bit like this and we're going to dip it down in there. 
because you don't want to touch it because you don't know if it's going to be hot or not. So like I said before, be very careful. Then what you do is you take out the bugle and you kind of give it a little wiggle to get off the excess candy coating. And then we're going to put it on a piece of wax paper for it to dry. Okay, and we're going to put it on this piece of wax paper like this and we're going to let it dry. Now we're going to do a bunch of these, so we'll be right back. All right, everyone, so there are our little Santa hats, so we have to let them dry and then we will decorate them and then they can go in with rest of the party mix. Okay, guys, so as you'll see here, we have a lot of the red candy melts left. Now, we're going to need to use this melted stuff to decorate the Santa hats that are drying. So make sure that you leave yourself some of this left over to use for the decoration. So this is what they look like once they have uh, dried. So now what we're going to do is decorate them. So what you're going to need to do is take your little Santa hat and you're going to dip it down into the melted candy melts. All right, so you've got a thin little line of it there. Then what we're going to do is take it and dip it into here. Now you could use white, red, whatever colors you want. We thought that it might look interesting to have some of the green, red, and white on there. So use whatever sprinkles you would like. So that is step number two. So there you go. So that was step number two that's done. So we're gonna let those um, settle for a few minutes. And then we're gonna add the mini marshmallows to the top. So you're gonna dip this in here, get the tip full of the candy melt and you're going to stick on the marshmallow like that and there you have a little Santa hat. So I'm going to finish it with all of these and then we'll add it to our party mix. So here we are and we're almost done. So what I did to the party mix is I added some um, marshmallows just to give it a little bit of more of a wintry kind of feel because they're white. Now we're going to take these and just sprinkle them in. So there you have it. We have our very own Santa hat party mix. Yes. So guys, have you ever made anything like this before? It sure was a lot of fun. But mom did most of the work because I didn't want any of that candy to get on my fur. Haha. <laughs> so anyway, guys, yeah, let me know in the comment below if you think this looks yummy, yummy, yummy. Also, be sure to subscribe. We have a lot more videos coming for the holidays. Also, follow us on all of our social media. So that way you can see the kinds of antics that Sprinkles gets up to. Haha. <laughs> I post pictures of him every day where we find him on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, yeah, guys, so thank you, Sprinkles, for bringing us these supplies so we can make this yummy party mix. And uh, yeah, I think we might make this again for Christmas Day so that way we have something to snack on while the food cooks. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video.